Welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one we're going to look at the Dark Angels Deathwing Terminators from the Dark Vengeance box. So here's what my guys look like when they're all done. Uh, I'm going to do this tutorial in a little bit different way, a little different format. Let me know what you think about it. Um, first of all, here's all the paints that I used. And I'm going to show you where they go on the models themselves. So the Xandri Dust, a Seraphim Sepia, Ushabti Bone, Screaming Skull are going to be what I use for the bone here. Um, so basically, I'll show you how I go with about doing that, but essentially it's going to go in this order, uh, painting on the different layers. Uh, for the green details, I didn't really use the uh, the wash, but uh, Calvin Green and then uh, highlighting up the, uh, the raised bits with Warpstone and then just edge highlighting with Moot Green. For the gold, um, so lots of gold areas here and there, uh, using the Balthasar Gold, Agrax Earthshade, Gena's Gold, and Arutek Armor. Uh, lead Belcher for the silver, Newland Oil, and Iron Breaker, nothing special there. The bright red detail, so that includes the, the gun and the shoulder pad. That's the Mephiston, Evil, Stun, Evil Suns, and Wild Rider Red. Uh, for the cords, that's Corn Red, Wazdaka, and Squig Orange. For the Crux Terminus, I've got the Ashen Grey and Dawnstone sort of look. And uh, for the Purity Seals, you'll see that in some of the other ones. Nagrath Knight, Xerxes Purple, and Gene Steeler Purple. And Feathers, going for a lighter grey there. Celestria, Celestra Grey, Newland Oil, and Uthan Grey. And uh, for the Black Details, using Skaven Blight and Storm Vermin. Okay, so... Starting out, I spray painted them in a dark brown, thinking that the brown would help with the off-white. And then I sprayed from uh, above to try to get the uh, directional highlights. Because I've seen this done online, with different people trying it, and thought it looked neat. Tried it myself, and basically it didn't help me at all. So I went over and I painted everything in the Xandri Dust. Uh, basically a nice clean thing, clean layer, so I really should have just spray painted them with some sort of a color like this to help me out. So once that was done, I gave it a wash of the uh, the sepia there, and then started painting on base colors. So I've got my silvers um, going around there. I'm going to start different colors. Here we go. So I've got my, my greens are coming on, then my rope. And uh, the reason I'm choosing the, the order of these is just to help me later on. So basically painting the lowest colors first and then working my way towards the top of the model. I mean top, like outside bits. So uh, doing the green before the red helps because if I get some of the green on the red then I can paint it over without having to touch things up. Um, got some of the scrolls going here, light grays, more light grays, the blacks. And uh, yes, all I'm doing here is just painting on the base colors. Once I had the, the base, basic uh, color there and the wash on the main armor, I'm just uh, doing all the other base colors. Okay, uh, so now I'm starting to wash things. So I've got the uh, black wash here. I'm going to have some uh, Agrax Earthshade in there. And uh, the brown wash can be used for a lot of different areas. Okay, now what I'm going to start doing is highlighting up. So I think I'm painting on here. Nope, I'm not. Okay, I'm not really sure exactly what stage I'm at. But next I'm going to be coming up with the... Um, oh yeah, that's so that's the uh, Agrax Earthshade on there. You can tell it's quite a bit darker. Okay, so next bit is the armor. This was very, very time-consuming to try to paint this on. Because essentially I painted every surface and tried to blend a little bit uh, here and there and, and avoid all of the shadows. So this is uh, Ushabti Bone and I'm painting it, trying to get a nice even thin layer on everything. So some of the, the larger surfaces I had to kind of paint multiple times just to get a really nice even color. Um, it took about 45 minutes per model to get this layer done, uh, but at the end of it it was very rewarding. They look much, much better, nice and bright, going to be a nice centerpiece to the army. and. Uh, yeah, well worth it, even though it's very time consuming. To save time, I probably would have been better off to start with Ushabti and uh, give it a bit of a give it a wash in the in the cracks, like just a selective wash, and then touch it up. That probably would have been much better. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to be doing just uh, some edge highlights with Screaming Skull, and they're not really going to show up in the pictures at all. Okay, so I'm doing uh, just your Evil Sun's red on here. And so that's painting on every surface except for try to avoid any of the nooks and crannies on things. So all the flat surfaces. 
and then the highlight, which I'm not sure if you can, yeah, here you can see it. All I'm doing is just trying to catch the edges and just picking out the ones that are going to be most obvious. And uh, not spending, trying to do that pretty quickly and be nice and neat with it because you don't want to get it on anything else. But uh, it's not really going to be that noticeable, so just trying to get the areas that it's most uh, most obvious. Okay, working through some of the golds there, I think. Getting the different colors done. Okay, now I'm doing some of the highlights on the black there. You can see those just painting on the edges of each little uh, feather. Doing the same thing here. Okay, now the guy's looking almost done. Just have to work on the, the green bit here. I've got the silver bits highlighted. Um, you can see the base is basically done. Just gonna have to paint some stuff on there and touch it up. Okay, so now I'm using the moot green. Um, is it moot green or warp stone? Whatever the medium one was, painting that on all of the edges there and trying to blend it just a little bit in. And now I'm just painting nice thin lines of the, the highlight just on all the edges there, just to bring them out just a bit more. And that's basically it. I didn't really show much about the, the purity seals, but they're uh, pretty straightforward. And I used the purple on the, uh, the seals themselves. I added a couple of Mordaim tufts to each base and touched up the, the edges to make sure they're nice and clean with the uh, Steel Legion Brown. And uh, here's each of the individual guys. I'll just show you around each of them. And uh, I didn't really add much detail to the little bits that they gave you for the bases. Just kind of threw those on the base color on a wash. Um, sorry about these pictures. I just have my photo booth set up again. So after a bit of a hiatus away from my regular painting schedule, I'm starting to get back into things. Which is nice because I've got the Hobbit set now to paint up and uh, try to finish off this one as well. I still have the um, still have the uh, Hellbrute, uh, one more squad of cultists, and the Ravenwing bikers. So you let me know what you think about this format of doing these tutorials. It takes a little bit more work for me to set it up this way, but if it gets me more views and uh, gets more subscriptions, then it's going to be worth it. So let me know. If you have any feedback on how I can improve these, by all means, let me know in the comments or check out the link below for my blog. And this guy here, there's two of him, and they're identical, so I'm only really showing details of one, but here's both of them side by side. As you can see, I did paint them both. Uh, you can see the tufts are a bit different, but otherwise almost identical. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. See you next time.